Okay, in this tutorial, um, I'm actually going to be create create a bearing hanger for our go-kart. I took a day off because I can't seem to find time during the evenings to get this project done, and uh, I've got to modify the back end of our go-kart, as I'd mentioned in a previous tutorial. So what I need to do is create some bearing hangers that I can't order, um, and it's cheaper for me to do it this way anyway. So what I'm going to do is create the bearing hanger that I need, and then I'm going to modify it. Um, I've got some measurements that I took off of another bearing hanger. So we're going to go ahead and start out with a four and a quarter inch box. And inside I have a two and three quarter inch diameter circle. So that's 2.75 divided by two, because um, again, we uh, put in the radius, but we're dealing with diameters when I my measurements usually. So you can see up here it's two and three quarter now. Now I need to center this on this part, um, at least vertically, and then horizontally I need to be a half inch off this bottom. So if I come up here and select this bottom center nub, um, I know that the Y position is 0.196. So I copy that. Now I select this circle and give the Y position. 0.196 plus 0.5. Now that brings it a half inch off of that edge. Um, what I'm going to do is do a control one. So if I do Alt S and show you the part, this is what I've got so far. This is the beginning of our bearing hanger. Okay, now what I need to do is cut a uh, three quarter inch, no, sorry, one and three quarter inch slot out of this so that the axle can slide in and out. So let's make this box 1.75 wide. And we're just going to center it, control K. Remember I control K always remembers what your last alt K setting was. So um, so now I'm going to take this, everything control one or the XOR weld right there, and go ahead and delete these pieces. And now my uh, I have a section uh, for the my uh yeah, can't think axle to slide out of. Okay, so now this is the tricky part. Um, I don't know of a good way to measure the radius of a, on a triangle and uh, we're just going to wing it. What I do need, I, I need 3 8 inch holes. So again, 3 divided by 8, that's twice the size I need it, so divide that by 2. So I'm going to need 3 holes and actually this is going to be much easier if I undo, undo, do a bunch of undos, control B to break this part, and actually I need what I need to do is I'm going to control paste because I copied this hole. I'm going to center this on this circle, Alt K, center, center, because um, what I need to do is I need to uh, do an arc. So let's go like this. That's I need to do an array, whatever. So Okay, a layout array, a lay on arc. I'm going to need three of these. And notice I'm starting at zero degrees and ending at 360. So this is perfect for what I need. The question is, is how far am I supposed to come in from this edge? And I don't know. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually run out in my garage real fast. And I'm going to take a quick measurement of this point to this point. And I think that'll actually put me pretty close. So it'll be just a second for you, but uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got three measurements off the three holes and got three different ratings, so I'm going to try to split the difference. And what I'm going to do is add a line in here. Actually, not yet. Let me get the top measurement of this. On the Y position, it's 3.446. Let me do a start, calc. Paste that plus 0 0.185, 3.631. What I'm going to do is just create a guide. Right click on the screen. I want a horizontal guide at 3.631. That, according to my readings, is, is where we should be at for the bottom of this. Um, circle so or the bolt hole so what I'm going to do is delete these uh, on the array again you see sometimes you just have to start over again and uh, just 
keep messing with it. Okay, so now I'm just going to bump this up. That's a little too high, 1.7. Let's go down to 1.75. Okay, so now 1, 1 and 3 quarter inch radius. That is probably what they did on that part because I was, like I said, I was getting three different measurements. And I'm, that looks pretty close to me. So now I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, we're about right on there. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete all because I don't need that guideline anymore just as a spotter or a point of reference. Okay, now I'm going to take all of these pieces, control one, and there is my bearing hanger. Now I do want to go to transform. If you do round corner, it's going to try to round all corners, which I don't want it to do. So I'm going to do fill it round corner and take the miters off and just try to round these up. Actually, I think I do want the miter in this on those particular ones. Apply that. Um, transform, fill it round corner again, take the miter off and come up and round these these edges right here. The reason why I wanted those miter, these back ones, is they're going to be um, close to some welds and I wanted to give myself a little bit of room there. Okay, I'm going to rotate this thing 90 degrees and this is the bearing hanger I need. However, um, I am making a modification. I need to drop this thing down four inches. So let's go build another box. We are again, we're four and a quarter square. Okay. And we'll, what we need to do is find the top point of this. And the top point is 4.456. If we center this on this and then touch it again and raise it up uh, the y to 4.456 plus 4, that is going to give me this 4 inch drop that I need on this. Um, I'll have to uh, take some pictures later after I get the, the final thing done so I can show you why I'm, why I'm doing such a drop on that. Um, I'm going to do basic weld. Um, because I did have some curves and things in here, I do have some points. I'm just going to delete these just to make sure all my lines are straight. Okay, now I'm going to transform, fill it round corner. Let's miter that back edge. Transform, fill it round corner. Take the miter off, round the front edge. Now, the uh, one remaining thing that I'd like to mention here is it's expensive to cut out of steel, especially when you make plenty of mistakes like I do. So what I like to do is go File, Print. Make sure you have this preview box checked down here. Um, you can go print it to Adobe PDF if you have an Adobe PDF printer or whatever else you have in here. Um, I'm going to print it actually to my printer, cut it out, and then um, go and place my template up against my bearing hangers and uh, or my whatever they call them. I can't remember if they're things that sandwich the bearings and connect to the bolt or bolted onto these things. So on one sheet this is what it'll look like. Um, I'll go ahead and print that. You can hear it printing in the background. I'll go and cut this out. After I cut this out and verify that yes indeed all of these uh, the placement of the bolt holes are correct. This uh, size of the bearing hanger and everything is all good, then what I'll do is I'll go cut out uh, four of these on the Torchmate 2x4 and I've got to start welding them up. And I'm just looking at the printed out paper and it looks good. That's that's about right. Okay, I'll try to get some pictures and uh, post them at the end of this to show you exactly what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. <laughs>